It's been 20 years since the United States committed to the deployment of a homeland missile defense system to protect the country from states like North Korea. Following the 2004 emplacement in Alaska of the first ground-based interceptors, or GBIs, and activation of the system, the Missile Defense Agency has tested the ground-based Mid-Course Defense, or GMD, system many times, learning and making continuous improvements to the system. In the following scenario set in 2023, the GMD system is defending against four ICBMs targeting the United States. Space-based infrared sensors detect each missile and predict their impact points. The satellites cue the missile defense system through the Command and Control Battle Management and Communications System, or C2BMC, to alert forward-based radars. The ANTPY-2 radar, the C-based X-band radar, or SBX, and the Long Range Discrimination Radar, or LRDR, acquire and track each missile as it ascends into space. The radars watch the missile engines burn out, with radars closer to the targets observing each payload separation. A decision is made on where to engage the threats and with how many interceptors. Radar search fans discriminate the most likely threat re-entry vehicle amidst the rocket debris, decoys, and other countermeasures. Warfighters fire a single interceptor to engage the first ICBM targeting the U.S. Warfighters launch two more interceptors to engage the second ICBM, and then turn their attention to defending Chicago and New York as the radars continue to pass data to the fire control nodes and cue the upgraded early warning radar at Beale Air Force Base. Warfighters launch a salvo of interceptors against the third ICBM warhead headed to Chicago. The first, or lead, interceptor is followed by two more interceptors. Eyeing up the fourth and final ICBM, warfighters launch a single interceptor. Following ejection of its booster stages, the interceptor defending Seattle releases its exo-atmospheric kill vehicle, or EKV. The EKV adjusts its approach using small rocket motors. Using onboard sensors, it tracks the target scene, identifies the lethal object, and makes minor adjustments to its flight path, and destroys the ICBM warhead by force of impact. The LRDR and orbiting space-based kill assessment sensors confirm the hit, with sensors now tracking the second ICBM warhead. Two more EKVs are released and speed towards the target cluster. Following rocket motor adjustments, the first EKV obliterates the target, and a split second later, the second destroys a nearby countermeasure object. This precise and carefully choreographed process is repeated as the three EKVs coast towards the ICBM warhead targeting Chicago. And finally, the last EKV approaches the fourth ICBM warhead, and slams into it at a closing speed of 26,000 miles per hour to destroy the warhead. The LRDR and the space-based kill assessment sensors send timely hit assessment data to the system using C2BMC to confirm the intercepts and ensure that no further threats remain. Considerable work is being done today to improve America's homeland defenses and the GMD system. An extraordinary effort called the Service Life Extension Program is making important improvements to the GBI fleet in terms of capability and reliability, and a new missile field in Alaska is being constructed to house additional interceptors. With the Next Generation Interceptor, an entirely new interceptor featuring state-of-the-art components and multiple kill vehicles, will be fielded as early as 2028 which will be able to defend the U.S. against advanced ballistic missile threats in the coming decades. Missiles are a principal means for projecting military power, which makes missile defense a key component of integrated deterrence. 20 years on, it remains MDA's solemn duty to continue providing unmatched missile defense capability to America's warfighters in order to safeguard the U.S. homeland from ballistic missile threats.